Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot messages today. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Capricorn, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you. Capricorn is through the comments. As well, I would like to ask if you do enjoy this reading, Capricorn, or you just enjoy my vibe. I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to do that for me and to support my channel in that way but when it comes to my readings be sure to rely on your intuition capricorn because put it in perspective just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider capricorn but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so i pulled some tarot cards just to see where you guys are at currently in your path capricorn so let me show you these cards and then we'll break it down from there i don't know why like the moment i hit record capricorn i'm like randomly developed being like short of breath <laughs> and i don't like usually i'm not the type of person capricorn that will like project what my experiences are and say it's for like some type of individual but it is just seemingly out of the blue but um, something just to note. Uh, we have the Four of Water or the Four of Cups coming in for you with the Moon card, Archangel Haniel, number 18, equaling to nine for numerology Capricorn. So write down the number nine to look up later to see how it coordinates with your reading, as well as if you're open to working with Archangels uh, Capricorn, you know, depending on your belief system, what you do, what your practices are is none of my business, you know, but if you are open to it, Archangel Haniel is definitely reaching out to you with the Eight of Earth coming in as well, or the Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn. So really good card to have like this. You guys are in this place of like learning, but hmm, well, we'll get into it. Let me knock it ahead. And then you also have the Awakening card, Archangel Gabriel, same thing and the number 12 equaling to three. So same spiel, Capricorn, number three for numerology, Archangel Gabriel is a lovely one to work with as well. Um, so let's take this in. Capricorn, just off of first impressions, I'm seeing you, you guys Capricorn are in this process of really, uh, how we will say, like, you're starting to open up to the idea of, like, following some type of calling, for, uh, going into something that, uh, uh, I feel like really is of interest to you, um, but... I can't help but feel like the thing that's holding you back is the fear of something that hasn't quite happened yet. It's almost just like this sense of um, a looming, something that you feel like is kind of looming. Like, I don't know if you have like this, it's like this looming sense of like doom and gloom. I don't know. It's weird, Capricorn. So how, how does this puzzle want to go down though, honey? I feel like we will start with this card here, then we'll put this one. And then do these two. All right. Don't mind me, Capricorn. I always like to feel like a puzzle. So let's break this down. We have the Awakening card, Archangel Gabriel. And this card says, look at things from a different perspective, uh, a temporary standstill, and it's important to be yourself at this time, Capricorn. So when you have the Awakening card coming in, Capricorn, this is why I say that you are in this process of... Uh, almost like just identifying like where your calling is of like where it is that you need to um put your energy into right because of the eight of pentacles but i don't want to get ahead of myself right you're opening with that away this awakening card you're opening up to the idea of something uh capricorn it's almost just like i don't know something has maybe a certain event or person has sparked something in you that has really uh gotten you out of like your norm if that makes sense capricorn i feel so let's see then the cards that came in for you we have the four cups following you with the six of swords and the page of wands all right so kind of what i'm getting with the sense these are the clarifiers for your awakening card by the way capricorn uh the sense that i get with this is that um 
you're there's like i'm getting the sense of a capricorn where it's like this sense of like you're opening up to the idea of something but you also at the same time don't want to let go of something that you're currently doing right you almost don't want to take a risk perhaps or make some type of sacrifice capricorn it's one of those situations where it's like you want to have your cake and not only eat it too but you want to be able to uh have what um you had like be able to like bring it home for like later for leftovers almost right you're wanting to bring keep old energy in it's almost like this hoarding aspect for your life where it's just like you want it all but not wanting to like necessarily like while you pick up stuff putting other stuff to the side and um yeah capricorn i don't know what this is we do have the ace of cups inverted for you so this is just yeah <sighs> I see you just trying so hard, Capricorn, of like, it's almost like, we'll use an example of where you want to be like an actor or like an author. And like, you have this potential opportunity or you could open up to a really good potential opportunity of like moving to Hollywood, honey, right? Trying to make it out there. But then in order to do that, you would have to go, you know, you would have to let go of that old job. You know, you might have to move, so on and so forth. You know, all those narratives and like kind of taking a chance on yourself, right? The moon card keeps coming in for you as well. And this is at this point, I'm looking at the back of the deck energy. Uh, the moon card with the fool card coming in. I feel like all these cards are just so relevant, Capricorn, because it's just speaking of such a very specific storyline of where it's like, there's just like this fear of becoming the fool and adopting a new path because you know you don't want to look like a fool even uh yeah capricorn there's just this sense of a really strong calling that i feel like you're already feeling because of this awakening card that to just do something that you getting yourself out of your norm entirely really getting yourself out of your comfort zone and taking a risk on something right i see this just this strong desire of having like this fresh start with this page of wands here and i always called my page of wands that fresh start card the card of where uh going into like a new journey perhaps so it's very fitting that you have it with the fool card right but that journey is still a little bit unknown it's a little bit spooky right because that moon the moon is the card of where it's like stuff uh you know stuff happening in the shadows right and then when you have the four of cups this is like a person who's kind of like i like in this deck in the artwork i like to see this as where this cloud is like spirit or like the universe whatever it is you believe in of course right uh offering this cup and the cup represents an opportunity or a love person whatever and this is who you are capricorn gender obviously doesn't matter uh but it's where it's you're not noticing this right you're not noticing this cup being offered it's kind of the uh representation capricorn of a missed opportunity so it's interesting that you have the ace of cups inverted for you capricorn because of this because it's the sense of um you know this cup being inverted for you this is i feel like the cup that is trying to be offered and so normally with the ace of cups being upright capricorn this card is all about um just your heart opening up to something you know it's like that new love new opportunity and all that so when it's inverted like this in my opinion i feel like this is kind of like this cup going to waste the fluid going to waste this going to waste so it's like that's why i'm like a little bit scatterbrained <laughs> even like receiving just like this first card uh clarifying capricorn because it's like such powerful messages right off the bat you know and the six of swords here it, this is where it's like a card that's like you know going into that journey you have to leave something behind right and you're not, you're not very happy about it but you know you're just it involves having faith and trusting the process and where spirits are trying to guide you right but it is the sense that you have to walk away from something which is a, i'm not trying to minimize that at all right i know it's a lot easier it sounds very black and white when it's through tarot right and i guess it's a little bit of my own fault as well capricorn of how i word things uh you know risk is scary but um we have the eight of earth here eight of pentacles this card says skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school so you have this card from spirit pushing for you capricorn to uh really challenge yourself with something right so let's get some clarifiers on this let's see uh what more detail we can get with this 
<clears throat> All right, so we have the Devil card with Inverted, with the Sun card, as well as the Seven of Swords Inverted as well. So it's almost like Capricorn, like this attachment to uh, this devil here. You don't quite want to let go of it, right? It's like that addiction. It's that bad habit that you know is bad for you, but uh, you still entertain it anyways. So, you know, I like to use the example of like cigarettes, right? You know, smoking cigarettes, you know, drinking alcohol, honey, you know, the side effects it gives you, you know, it's not that pleasant for you, but you know, honey, sometimes it's, you make, we make that adult decision, right? To dabble in that. Right? So the Seven of Swords here is like almost like this leniency that you'll have towards this. So it's letting me know for a Capricorn where it's like, you know, I might step on some toes, but I'm trying to only just say this out of love, right, Capricorn? Because I'm trying to help you get into your path. I feel like this is almost like the excuses you'll tell yourself, which don't even have to be that strong of excuses for why, you, why you'll make the decision to not challenge yourself more, to not push yourself more, you know? You'll play yourself down. You'll be like, oh no, there's no point in me. I wouldn't win it anyways, right? You'll play yourself down. You'll play down your potential so that way it doesn't feel as bad for you, Capricorn, perhaps, to, um excuse or to like not entertain something right so you downplay yourself you convince yourself that you want to get this happy ending with the sun and honey i think you would in fact i know you would with these cards right you're not having any cards um really chast like you have the cards chastising you capricorn of where they're telling you to just do it but notice you're not lacking any Thing, you know they're just kind of like acknowledging the spooky path right presented to you the spooky potential that you could go down right and they're just really trying to motivate you into leaning into it further so uh now we get into this moon card again for you in your main so the moon is really such an emphasis for you of like stuff unknown um, I feel like this is kind of like one of the main indicators as well as to why you don't want to do it because it's the unknown, it is spooky, right? This card says important psychic insights, uh, events behind the scenes, and releasing fears that hold you back, honey, all right? Releasing those fears of the unknown. So let's get some clarifiers on this because the moon card really wanted to just come in. Uh, like you guys, Capricorn, are getting such major arcana. It's very interesting to see. <laughs> I see the cards already. So, <laughs> honey, Capricorn, I f you can't see it, but I have like 10 tarot decks on this little table and I thought one of them slid off. So the clarifiers we have for your moon, Capricorn, is the Knight of Pentacles with the moon card again, Capricorn, third time. And the devil in the reverse again. You know, this is why I love using multiple tarot decks because it really hones in on a message and you see me shuffle it, Capricorn. So it takes away that skepticism. Y'all's reading is powerful. <laughs> like, this is probably gonna be one of those readings that actually has such a justifiable dramatic titling, uh, Capricorn. Like, uh, so many tarot uh, videos, my, my own videos included. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked, Falca, I apologize. So what this means is, like, just such an emphasis on getting out of your comfort zone. I always associate Capricorn, the Knight of Pentacles, of moving out of your comfort zone. Um, going out into uncharted territory. Going out into this uncharted territory, the moon, the unknown, that we've been talking about. But the devil card is so this, this thing, though, Capricorn, that you're clinging on to. And I know for a fact that if you're honest with yourself, Capricorn, you would acknowledge like what it is that you're clinging on to. And you're just like, OK, yeah, Valka, I, need, I do need to let go of that. Right. I do need to, like, move on from this part of my storyline. But it can just be so hard. All right. I get it. Um, but, you know, I hope by the end of this, this motivates you, Capricorn, because, again, we have the Four of Water, the Four of Cups following you. So many cards following you. Can we just appreciate the repetitiveness of it all? This is what, of all kinds of things you want to hear, this is the thing that you want to be repetitive is your tarot readings when you're using multiple decks. Um, 
I'm not trying to brag, but <laughs> this card says, anyways, honey, missing an opportunity, d discontentment, uh, or boredom, and opening your eyes to the possibilities. We're going to hone in on that last part the most, Capricorn, of opening your eyes to the possibilities, because I feel like that's part of the reason that I was saying before, right? You're not entertaining the possibility that of where you would be successful if you were to move to Hollywood, where, you know, you have faith, right? You're willing to bet on yourself. It's kind of like one of those situations, truly, right? Because even if you if you're willing to bet on yourself, it doesn't matter how spooky. What was that? <laughs> I had a bunch of spit build up. <laughs> it doesn't matter how spooky a path is. If you have faith enough faith in yourself, Capricorn, you can take that uh, leap of faith. And this is speaking from experience, honey. Right? I'm living proof proof of it. Um, and I don't regret it, honey. I've had some times where I had some breakdowns, trust and believe. Uh, <laughs> more often than I like to admit, but it's so worth it, right? Capricorn, it's so worth taking those risks, right? All right, so let's see the clarifiers you get for this uh, Four of Water, though. We have the King of Swords with the Page of Cups. Notice how the pages keeps on coming in for you for new beginnings. You keep on getting cards about the new. Really not trying, and all like, all about new and the unknown for you. Really trying to emphasize that rather than anything in like the present or like in, that's in the past. Like the spirit doesn't have any interest in that at all for you, Capricorn, just take note. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Page of Cups <laughs> with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So Capricorn, yeah, the Queen of Wands normally in the upright is someone who uh, is f good taking that leap of faith, literally. That's if you look up the meaning of the card, it says that. Um, where it's like whatever that fiery passion that burns within her, she t tends to that flame, right? She leaves the nest for her passions, right? Not King of Swords and the Page of Cups. I feel like this is the thing that you need to uh, work on, Capricorn is where it's uh, having real honest conversations with yourself of like what kind of life that you want to live, what kind of life you want your, how do you want your life to actually truly reflect? You want a certain way of living, right? You want to deepen certain relationships. You want to have a perfect relationship. You want to have that perfect dream job, right? Are, do you view yourself honestly having the potential of doing it, right? Because that's the thing if you have <laughs> i just feel like some of you capricorns need to just take a long look in the mirror and be like all right let me acknowledge this devil right let me acknowledge this devil that the thing that i've been clinging on to right you know acknowledge look at where your actions capricorn are not congruent with where it is that you see yourself right if you see yourself being like a fitness model but all you're doing is eating some oreos honey the, your actions are not congruent with what it is that you're envisioning, what it is that you're thinking, what it is that you say you want to do. And that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, but I hope that was helpful, Capricorn. Please forgive me for uh, my spiel, though. But now we're going to be doing a spread, Capricorn, for those that are interested in hearing about their social situation in specific. Um, so social, platonic, or romantic. And then we'll do a little bit of a quick spread for my Capricorns that are interested in doing their career, hearing about their financial situation this week as well. So Capricorn, we have for your social situations, we have the Three of Air or the Three of Swords with the Six of Air or Six of Swords in the Chariot card, Archangel Metatron. This is a situation where it's coming, notice the same repetitive cards as well with the Six of Swords coming in, because um, you had this before as well. Uh, I don't feel like digging through the pile. But overall, Capricorn, in your social situations, do you guys are going to be coming in very quickly of having to uh, come to terms with something. Uh, very much so, this is speaking about some heavy closure, uh, some confrontation gonna be happening. I'm gonna be honest here with the Three of Swords as lets me know of pain. Could be referencing something from the past that you're moving on from with the Six of Swords. Um, but with this Chariot card here, um, it overall is just emphasizing this uh, 
the quickness of this because because the further that you go down your right path essentially capricorn the quicker some type of distancing happens um that we hinted at that the spirit talked about at the very beginning so there is seemingly something that you guys are having to be walking away from to uh go into something new with your social situations but um yeah now let's get into my capricorns um career situations let me just take down the time honey yeah let's see what's going on uh, for my uh capricorn's career situation right now all right so we have the three of fire for you capricorn with the high priestess card archangel haniel with the hermit card archangel Raziel. didn't i say you have so many major arcana this week capricorn uh, I don't think there's a single row that you didn't have major arcana included. Uh, with your so uh, with your career situation, uh, kind of or financial in general, ride the wave this week, Capricorn. I would say listen to your intuition. Um, don't make any moves yet. Uh, with the three of wands, it's leading me to believe that spirit's eating some breadcrumbs. There's going to be some type of sign or of where it is you need to make your next decision of where to go next in terms of your financial thing. This is not a time of you trying to force something to happen, Capricorn. This is time to like listen inwardly, be super self-reflective, put things in perspective, listen to your intuition, really such a honing in on that and pay attention to whatever is going to be coming, right? I always like to say three of five fire three of wands is the card of um seeing land for the first time after being months out into sea right so you have a sign of where it is you need to continue going to so uh yeah i see that's where it's coming for you guys for my capricorns and their financial situation but uh yeah that's the reading that i have for you my beautiful capricorns if you enjoyed this tarot reading let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe and then also capricorn i do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs not just yours capricorn so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not i would really appreciate it if you were to give uh my videos a link to them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well uh, but yeah i love you so much capricorn and i wish you so much luck i love you so much bye